Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Miro with Lucid Shard. I have a request for you before we start. If you could share down below in the comments what do you think about Lucid Shard and what do you actually think about Miro. I tested both apps, I'm going to share with you what I think about them, but it will be really great to see and read other points of view. So when other people will come who are actually starting out with a, like I don't know how to uh, with the project management and documentation and how they actually can like showcase their work, they would see that, okay, I like Miro more because of this comment that provided me this kind of value. So that would be really great if you could share your experiences because I believe that many people who come here are actually experienced in Lucid, Chart or Miro. So I would be really thankful for it. Now let's start comparing. First, what I'm going to compare are pricing plans and then I'm going to look on uh, the dashboard and what you can actually achieve with both in a short version of this video if i should like if someone would ask me on the street what do i think about lucid chart or miro i would say that lucid, lucid chart is much more complex comparing to miro if i would be using something that i want to like showcase something on presentation uh, and it needs to be simple i need to do it quick i would definitely choose miro that's my point of view because the design and everything i like more but Lucid chart is more robust, robust, if it's the right word. Uh, like I can achieve more things. That's what I believe in Lucid chart. Now let's start with the pricing plans. When you come here to the pricing plans, there is a huge difference uh, in a team pricing plan. When you see on Miro, you're going to see that you're going to have a free account and with team members, but you get only free editable boards. What does it mean is let's say that you have like plenty of projects, you're working with multiple clients and you need more boards, this is not going to be enough. So then you need to choose like the theme and remember month build, it's uh, $8, but annually it's 10, I mean month to month, it's $10. So, and you can have like everything. Then you have like business here and you can have like external editors, etc. Now, this is how it is. When we come here to the Lucy chart, there is a one thing which is really important is that they heavily they are heavily aggressive on uh, the annual version only because <clears throat> you see it here the team is 30 euro month to month and that's pretty much it and then you can like also free account the good thing is that with a lucid chart and with a miro you're gonna have free accounts so you can actually test both but you need to keep in mind that to start a free trial with a Lucid app, you need to actually provide your bank card. That's something I don't like to do. Uh, so only because like you can use the UI containers here. You can you can use the UI widgets, UI input or UI menus. Everything here is advanced, so you need to actually pay money. So that's something you should definitely keep in mind if you want to use Lucid chart. And if you want to use the free trial, you need to add your bank card. So yeah, which one is winning? When we compare the annual version, it's really similar. I'm not really going to fight over here on uh, $1, etc. So what I like about also Lucid Chart is that they got plenty of integrations that you can use. But I really think that with Zapier, you can integrate literally everything. So that's good too. Now, when we go further and when we're going to compare what you can actually achieve and what you can do with Lucid Chart and what you can do with Miro. So you can have three boards here. I'm going to show you my board here and I'm going to open new board here um, and I'm going to start with the template on Lucid Chart. From my perspective and what I personally see is that Lucid Chart is much more complex. Wait a second, not this one. So this is one of my boards that I was creating about web hostings and what I'm going to do, let's say I'm going to click templates here. Now, when you see templates on a Lucid app, work remotely and you're going to see plenty of templates, build flowcharts. You see many flowcharts. Like for specific even industries, right? And right here, when I would go all templates, flowchart, you see that they don't really have many flowcharts. They got the basic ones that you can use if you want to use those templates. I mean, they are good, but comparing, as you can see, to the Lucid chart, it's like they are out of their mind. So that's something really good. 
You can also swim lane diagrams. You got only one diagram here. So from the templates, Lucid Chart is actually winning. Then we have like Agile tools, timelines. We can come here and write timeline, like Agile workflows. And then what you can do also is to we show you. You can explore the community ones if you want to use them. So that's good. That's like a thumbs up for Miro. Uh, but as you can see, for the basic ones that you can see, they got plenty of them with a Lucy chart. And now, like, yes, you can have like plenty of plenty of templates that you can use in Miro. And let's say that I'm going to use diagram or like agile workflows. They got plenty of them too. And <clears throat> these were the workflows from the community and templates from the community that you can use. So we can also even compare with like organized people, organized charts. I don't know if I can like find here. Yep, organization. There are plenty of them here. So, and same also with here, with Agile. So, I mean, okay. To summarize templates so we can move on. In my opinion, Lucy chart is more complex on what you can achieve with your templates and how many templates they actually have. On the other hand, Miro got plenty of basic ones in their template list, uh, which are great to use, but they get also the Mi Miro words, like micro words, I like the word more, so Miro words. Uh, where community is creating various templates, custom templates that you can actually use. That you can use and uh, create everything with it. Now, you can have also template library here. And you would see other templates. So they got plenty of value. You need to really scout there by yourself. But again, Lucid app offers more value from the template perspective, from the basic ones that you can get. And Miro got the community, which is huge. And that's something that I really like. Now let's just choose, let, I'm going to, I'm going to choose a new one and we are going to try to do something with it. All right. So agile workflows. I'm really thinking it right now. Flow chart. And I'm going with the flow chart here. So I would click this flow chart, open template, and I'm going with, I know, this flow chart here, use template, and voila, here we got it. So now, what you can actually do and how it actually works. In Lucid chart, here I go, opa. What I can actually do and what I can achieve is that when I'm in shapes, I can simply add the shapes here. From standard when i'm here i can again on the left side see text same with here text and just move it and this is a text same with here i'm gonna grab a text write it here text and i can simply change fonts and everything right see easy same with here, this is a text. That's too much. See, it's, it's possible. Now, then when we go further, you're going to have a sticky note here that you can add shape and you got all the shapes here that you can choose or click all shapes and you see all the shapes here too. For the flow chart, you're gonna have plenty of, you're gonna have a block here that you can use. So that's something you can do. And then you can have for the flow chart and for the flow chart, you see that even in those, you see more shapes, right? So that's really great. And I can change it to something else. 
But as you can see, uh, with a flowchart, you're going to achieve more things. Then these are the shapes here. Then, as I mentioned, like if I would go back to something that I created here, not here, but this one. In advanced, you're going to have options. Like here are the shapes here and here is the flow chart. So what you can do is with the shapes that are similar ones, with the flow chart, you're going to achieve much more. But then you get those UI containers. Which are like really great comparing to the mirror that you can have. And then you have like pen here, comment, frame. Or you can use also apps here. Web page capture. Charts. Etc. But as you can see, you get multiple things here. But you have you have to actually pay for it and it's going to be advanced. And I would definitely use a lucid chart if I'm going to have like multiple documents that I need to connect to each other. And I need to actually connect it with I don't know, Google Sheets and get the extra data and month on month basis. I would definitely so what I could do is let's say lucid chart to sheets and now I could add an add-on and what does it mean is that let's say that I would have a data let's say this is a Google Sheets I would have a data right here and what I could do is actually visualize it in lucid chart And have a, a graph here which is going to rise or something and as you can see this is really great way and really great difference um like what you can achieve with lucid chart and what you can actually achieve with miro and that's what i would definitely do so use miro and miro is great if i want to showcase something or uh, create things with people but i would go with lucid chart so thank you very much guys for watching if you can have any questions ask me down in comments and have a great day and goodbye see ya